Hi, this is Steve from Deep Instinct. Thanks for joining me for a few minutes today to learn about Wasted Locker Ransomware. So this is a, a pretty uh, nasty little variant of ransomware that has had some uh, pretty big compromises attributed to it. The uh, ransomware itself has been uh, associated with Evil Corp, which some of you may recognize from previous wide-scale ransomware campaigns, and they were even charged by the DOJ in 2019. Uh, but they're back, and they have a new version of ransomware that is pretty nefarious. Uh, each of their targets, it seems, does get a custom build. Uh, one of the things the ransomware does, which isn't completely uncommon, but certainly worth, worth noting, is it's going to uh, really try to target your uh, Windows shadow copies or backups to make it very difficult for you to recover from this attack. And also what's a little bit different about this Wasted Locker uh, campaign is they're, they're seeking some very large ransoms. You know, we're talking millions and millions of dollars. Their targets seem to be large organizations. But as with any ransomware, you know, everyone should be aware of it because you never know when you uh, might be the next target. So what we're going to look at today is how Deep Instinct can help protect your organization from wasted locker ransomware and for any sort of ransomware for that matter. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, Deep Instinct, I'm going to give you a quick intro. We are uh, a prevention first company. It's using deep learning to deliver what we call resilient prevention. And with resilient prevention, we're going to show you how you can decrease your costs and time associated with keeping your business secure. Our goal is to prevent everything using deep learning. I'm going to talk just really briefly about what that means. We do know, we're not silly, we know that 100% prevention all the time is impossible. So we do also deliver detection response capabilities that are really targeted for anyone to use. Very simple, very streamlined, very straightforward. So if you, and, and our solution is delivered in a multi-layered approach. So what I'm going to show you right now in our demonstration on how we can help uh, prevent a wasted locker from running in your environment we're going to focus really on the zero time predict and prevent capabilities but you should know so that's where we do our static file analysis we're using file reputation you have the ability to to uh blacklist items whitelist items as well as there's some built-in script prevention capabilities to uh target threats script based threats but we also do have runtime we call it detect and defend this is where we have dynamic behavior analysis where we also have, and, and we're not going to look at it right now in this demonstration, but we do have ransomware behaviors that we're looking for. So that if, for, for example, uh, a, a certain variant of a ransomware was able to get past our, our deep learning files, static file analysis, we have a secondary layer of protection that will look for ransomware behaviors. And if it identifies those things, it can, can kill them right away. Finally, we have on-time review and remediate. This is where you have, if you're a security analyst, you're going to get a view into what was identified, where did it come from, what was it trying to do, what type of threat is it, and then you can take some targeted responses yourself. So when I talk about resilient prevention, what we really mean is the ability to deliver consistent prevention of threats, known and, more importantly, on none, day after day after day. And that's what deep learning can do. What, we're going to, what I want to explain to you is how that brain, how what deep learning is and how it differs from machine learning. So to start the discussion again really briefly, machine learning is what most next-gen AV solutions use today. And it is identifying threats based on features. These are human-identified characteristics of files that are fed in to this machine learning kind of uh, model and it's going to use these features to identify threats. It's not a bad approach. I mean, this is this is a, a one way that that uh, you can actually identify threats. The the weakness here or the the limitation is engineered features. So anything that, that can be engineered by default can be reverse engineered, and that's what attackers are doing today. They're starting to, to identify ways to code their malware to evade these machine learning threat detection models and prevention models. And you're seeing some of that in the wild today. The way machine learning work or deep learning works is fundamentally different. So what we're going to do is deep learning is set up as a neural network. And it's essentially a set of algorithms that allows it to take any sort of analysis of a file that it wants. 
pretty much non we call them like non-linear paths to identification. The way that that model is trained, we feed it raw files. So this is a file with the label only. So files are labeled as malicious or benign, and their millions and millions are fed into this model. So over time, as we're training it, it gets very, very good. It develops kind of this innate ability to identify if something's malicious or benign, even if it's never seen it before. And it's doing it without any feature definition. We don't even know how it's doing it exactly. So if we don't know how the decision is being made specifically, guess what? The attackers can't either. So nothing obviously is 100% foolproof. But I guarantee you, deep learning is going to be much more difficult for the attackers to, to try to figure out how to get around it in a consistent manner. So let's before we get into the demo, just, just one last thing about Deep Instinct. We're going to look at it, and I'm going to explain a little bit more about resilient prevention, but essentially it's that ability to prevent those unknown threats, maintain business continuity, take action in zero time, no delays, right? With our solution, you're going to get no trade-offs. You're not going to have to make any trade-offs. This means that you can get, achieve really high efficacy with low false positives, so you don't have to kind of make that compromise. And as you look at what we can support with deep learning and our, and our static file analysis, in addition to all the other capabilities, you get a really broad attack surface protection so for file types and uh, different OSs and different op uh, environments. You get a very wide attack coverage, which is going to help you reduce your costs. All right, so let's go ahead and pop over to the demonstration and let's see how Deep Instinct interacts with Wasted Locker Ransomware. All right, so I've already downloaded the, the sample that we're gonna look at and the hash value is there in the video. You can, you can go ahead and grab that, take a look at it yourself. Uh, in order to do that though, I had to disable our prevention capabilities because the way that our deep static file analysis works is as new files either move around the disk or onto the disk, this deep static file analysis, deep learning file analysis, kicks in and it's going to, to in milliseconds, identify if something is malicious or benign. So if I had my protection on, I'm pretty sure when I've tried to download this file, it would have identified it as ransomware and not let me even download it. So that's not a, that's not such a great demo, right? So let's go, I went ahead and turned turn it to detection only so I could at least download the sample. What we're also gonna do, and so I'm in a minute, I'm gonna turn the prevention back on, but I also wanna mention what, circle back on this idea of resilient prevention. Inside of our configurations, we have what we call our deep brain, deep brain package. So what this is, this is that model, that deep learning model that's been trained and delivered to our customers. So our current model is 116, which was just released recently. The one I'm gonna test with was model 109. And this was trained in November of 2018. So we're getting close to almost two years ago. This, but So again, once it's trained, no other training occurs. That model is, is essentially closed off, shut down, delivered to customers, and so that it can work to identify threats. So we're going to use that model, and, and I'm pretty confident we're going to see some pretty good results there. So let's go ahead and turn the prevention back on, and then I'm going to show you how we interact with this Wasted Locker ransomware. So all I need to do here is check for updates. You can see we'll go in a moment. It'll go from detect only to detect and prevent. Perfect. All right. So as I said, as files move around the disk, let's go ahead and we're going to see that's when the static analysis occurs. So I'm, all I have to do here is just attempt to copy this file to the desktop. The, the analysis kicked in, and as we can see here, this file was identified as ransomware and is now blocked. So when it blocks it, it didn't allow it to move. The file has been completely cut off from, from the ability to execute on my machine. So that's it. I mean, that's that's really, obviously with ransomware, you want to make sure you have good practices around backups. Uh, that's that's just, that just makes sense. But the best way to protect yourself from ransomware is to not even give it the ability or a chance to run in your environment. So what I just showed you here is we stopped, of, of, and again, you can grab this this yourself and take a look at when this was submitted. This uh, sample of, of Wasted Locker ransomware that was from June of 2020 
It was blocked, identified, and prevented by a brain that was trained in November 2018. You know, like 18 plus months ago. So that's pretty powerful. That's what we mean by resilient prevention. That's something we believe we can deliver and help organizations protect themselves from those unknown threats that pop up all the time. So that's it. So if you would like more information about how we might be able to help you deal with your ransomware issues or any other sort of threat concerns you have against in your environment, visit us at deepinsync.com. Thanks.